Hey YouTube, uh, we're going to be doing a continuation of our vSAN project for our home lab. We have six 64 gig SD cards. Uh, they got them on sale compared to a 32 gig. It was $1.80 or something more for each one. One with the 64 gigs. We have three uh, dual IS IDSM SD card readers. This is how they look like. So we'll be installing ESXi on these. So there's a dual redundancy versus using one USB flash drive. And we also have our last 40 gig NIC for the vSAN. It's a 40 gig Pro. And we'll be installing it into this one so we will be installing all the sd cards readers and the dual sd cards into each host and reconfiguring it this one we also will be installing a uh, hba 330 that way we can use there it is So here's that bad boy we will use. And here's the cable for it. So we have all that stuff ready. And we'll be preparing the three servers. So now we're going to uh, start installing with the first server, which is the top R730. And we'll install SD card. It already has a 330 HBA, uh, but we will have to install the 40 gig card. So. Let's get back to it. Two SD cards pulled out of the containers. So you have two of them. Sometimes it's overkill, but honestly, for the price, you can't beat it. And that's how it is. And then you have to enable the feature in iDRAC to allow this. Uh, they are installed. So there's one ready for one server. And we will swap over. The rear back plane because we're going to be using the half height slots there we go got both screws If you align it, you'll see that the four LEDs fit through it. If they don't, then you haven't aligned it properly. Let's keep that there. Oh, looks like these screws are not magnetic. Get the other side to make it nice and there we go. We can install it in the server now. Take off the cover. Now we are going to install our 
far, it looks like him. There we go. There it is. Okay, so now we're going to install the two SD card readers. This is for a V flash, which we're not going to use this. The area where we're going to use the dual SD card readers is actually right behind this area. So you guys can see we have two modules there and the way we install it, if we flip it around, the great is like that. So you have the two SD cards, the module, and we're going to put the PCI riser back in. Next step is to remove our flash drive, which we no longer will be using. Since this is going to be a vSAN cluster, I want the most reliability to prevent any issues. Maybe in the future, I'll uh, use these for like the SSDs for caching for a vSAN. But for the time being, I don't need to. I have enough 24 bays in the front. Once SSDs get cheaper, I will do that. Uh, my next purchase is to get the fillers for the memory slots. That way it ensures better cooling for each of the slots of RAM. So you guys can see. So as this server is pretty much ready to go, we're going to uh, prepare the next server. I'm going to put the air shroud back in. There we go. So we got two uh, Mellanox QSFP. We have our H330, which this is the mini version. I have a PCI version you guys saw earlier in the video that will be used for the other server but the 330 and PCI version there's not much similar difference so it's a few dollars cheaper it's not too bad but there we go let's start the next server there we go we have the server slid in we have 240 gig cards uh, this will be dedicated for vSAN this will be regular data traffic for all the virtual machines so we're gonna put those connections back in. Okay, plug up the iDRAC. Put the power cables back in. And we have our 'll you flip the uh, infinity bands cards around the transceiver doesn't want to fit the same way as the other ones do there we go as you guys can see we have them plugged up the switch is starting to fill up pretty fast we're going to have to uh, eventually in the future get a second one and then create a bond to do some uh, stacking here which I'll be pretty interesting yeah, now we're going to do the next server. There we go, so now we have the second server off. They are out of sync, but for the time being it's fine. Later this will be a first, second, and third. 
Uh, this one will not do today because we have all of the SSDs here that will participate in the all flash VSAN. Each server will have three SSDs, one cache, two capacity. Even though if it's SSD, you still have to have a cache. So for now, it's fine. Um, so now we're going to unplug this one. There we go. Here we go. This one already has two Mellanox cards. We're just going to be installing the We'll be installing the IDSM module, so it'll be installed there. And we will also possibly swap out the HBA. Actually, we will not be able to. I will have to order a new set of cables because these are a little bit different. So that'll be a additional thing we'll have to get. But we can definitely pull out the flash drive. Trying to pull these flashers out is sometimes a little bit. There we go. All right, next step is to install our SD card slot module. Now we're going to uh, prepare the next SD card module. There it is, it fell out of the box. And we will get one more. Use the good old PCI full height as a knife. <laughs> Here we go. We have two. We're gonna pack this. A lot of you guys that are watching the videos and enjoying this, if you guys could subscribe, it'd be awesome to get the data center family growing and maybe in the future do some. Uh, giveaways there we go so we have the second one for installed for the server if you want to keep these little containers it's always good to put other SD cards in them and then we can prepare the next one which we will not be doing that today because I do not have all my SSDs. There we go. Got two ready. This one we will do later, which don't have all the requirements for that one yet. So we'll put it back in this little container just to protect it. And we're gonna go back to the server now.
claw at this bad boy. Something's holding it. There we go. That's just a little stuck there. And then we're going to install the neck. SD card. Drill. Look at that. This one doesn't have the rear back plane. Maybe in the future I'll do it. But for the time being, it's not needed. Here we go. Put on the shroud. And this server is good to go. There we go. So we have two servers completed today. Uh, the first host will be a part three of the video. And yeah, so now let's go hook it up. Good old eye track. And I like to make sure I put my uh, cables back in. So that is our top one we're moving. And we're gonna put that back into the top slots. And then this one should be the bottom one. Yep, which it is. There we go. And then this one should be you guys can see it up over there we're moving it and that's this the first one I like to keep things neat along with my port channels later if I need to troubleshoot something it'll be easier there we go I think we got everything hooked up we have our hydrax our four QSFP kind of funny 160 gigabits of total uh, bandwidth for each server I mean my disk limitation will be hitting faster before even anything else slows down I might have to get some uh, NVMe cards to hit some speeds there we go so now we're going to turn on both servers And there we go. So we have the first portion of the video created. And next we will have to we've got some flashing. Oh, there we go. It detected our modules. But yeah, there we go. Stay tuned and subscribe and share the videos. If you guys like to see more content like this, please let me know which I've seen already some of you guys do like this. And if you like to see any other things, I will be doing some more updates and walkthroughs for certain things with the network and VMware, how it's all set up. So stay tuned. See you guys later.